guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today we're going to do a little preview of the June Sephora play and then we're going to review the May Sephora play so I've used all the products that came inside of the May Sephora play so I can tell you guys my thoughts my opinions on those products and whether I would actually purchase these items in full size so as you, if you're familiar with Sephora play Sephora play is ten dollars a month you do get travel size type of products they're more like sample sizes so you get some small sample size products of things that are like high-end because Sephora is a high-end store so the great thing about this subscription service though is that anything that you get in your bag can be purchased at Sephora so that's a go that's a really cool thing so let's start with the perfume the perfume is the Stella the Toka Stella perfume so this is supposed to kind of have like a blood orange scent to it I don't smell the blood orange whatsoever for me I smell very it smells a little bit too musky for me so I don't like it in my personal opinion but if you are more into those musky notes let me see if there has a notes in here it has blood orange spicy lily flirt with white freesia and sandalwood I think the sandalwood is what I smell the, the strongest so for me it's not the best I don't recommend it I don't think it's something that I'm going to end up purchasing I think it's like too strong for my scents. I like the more vanilla-y scents, the more orangey scents. So those are my typical fragrances that I really love. So for me, I would say this is a pass. The next thing is the Rara, I'm just not even sure how to pronounce this. It's Rara Omega Non Hair Mask. It says it's a 100% plant derived rainforest grown little mask. I don't like this because it smells very medicinal. It does do a good job of detangling my hair, but for me, I prefer something a little bit more sweeter noted like the carol's daughter i love the carol's daughter hair mask i think that one smells absolutely amazing it smells really good in my hair it does a good job of detangling it does a good job of making my hair look shiny that is what i've been using in my hair lately and i feel like my hair has really done a dramatic change from where it was like looking very frizzy and dried out so i think the carol's daughter is a total recommend this year if you like the medicinal scents then you may end up, may end up enjoying this i just don't like the medicinal scents the next thing is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This stuff is absolutely amazing. You put a little bit of this on your hand and then rub it onto your face and it will remove all of your makeup. I promise you, you go in with a little white cloth afterwards and you won't have any makeup on your cloth. It does an excellent job of removing your makeup. It doesn't leave your skin feeling oily, which is awesome because I, I know a lot of you guys don't like the oily feeling. I typically do because I have very, very dry skin. So an oil-based cleanser actually works really good for me. But I have to be careful when I use an oil-based cleanser because I can't get it near my eyes. So if it's near my eyes, then I start to feel like it's blurry. I feel like I have like ha like hazy vision or something like that. I feel like I need to do this number, rub my eyes to figure out what's going on. So I do keep this away from my eyes. But as for my face, I think it does an excellent job. Really, really do recommend that. I'm probably after my no buy is over. That is one of the items I'm thinking about purchasing. And the next thing is the Belief Hungarian Water Essence. So this is like a typical, almost like a serum type of hydration. So you put it on, it's going to sink in very quickly. You can put this under makeup in my opinion. I think it works really well. It does give you hydration. I don't know if it's like one of those that kind of pulls the um, water molecules in from the atmosphere or not, but I feel like the longer I wear this product, the more hydrated my skin feels. I feel like it's a really good product. I love almost everything from the Belief line though. I think Belief has a very good skincare line, so this is something else that I feel like is a really good item. It doesn't have a strong scent. It doesn't have any scent to it, so that's really important too because I don't like things that are like highly fragranced when I'm putting it onto my skin, so I think that's an awesome product. The next thing is the, this is a little lipstick here from Nude Sticks. This is the Nude Sticks in Greystone. <laughs> By the power of Greystone, I don't like this. This is not my color. This is a very 90s look. It's like that brownie, brownie reddish color, brownie, I don't know, like a brownie mauve. I just can't pull this color off to save my life. It does not look good on me whatsoever. I tried it several times and every time I tried it, I was like, oh no, that's just not for me. I think that a lot of people could totally pull this color off. I like the Nude Sticks line. I think they have an excellent line for lip care. I don't think that they're hydrating or anything like that, but they do go on your lips fairly easily. So I think it's a good product. Just the color for me is just no. That's not my color whatsoever. So I'm going to pass that on. That reminds me of a color my mom used to wear, actually. My mom used to wear a color similar to that, so I made it passing it along to her because she used to have a color in her lips, a, a lipstick color that she used to wear that was very, very similar to that. If I had a picture of it, I would show you guys. So she can totally rock that color, just I can't rock it. The next thing is the Tr Tristique. This is a mini highlight stick. I like this for the inner corners of my eyes because I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time highlighting the inner corners of my eyes. I feel like it disappears pretty quickly. So if I put a cream-based product and then a powder-based product, I feel like the 
highlight stays for a longer time so this is really cool for that I don't like it on my cheeks I think it's just okay on the cheeks in my opinion I don't like a cream based highlight for my cheeks in the first place I feel like that kind of I don't know it just it just doesn't work for me you can totally use it for your cheeks if you want to but I really like it as an inner corner highlight so for me I think the May bag itself I think it was pretty good I mean it was totally worth the 10 bucks so I'm not unhappy whatsoever especially after trying out that Tatcha Camellia cleansing oil it's like a tongue twister I really do love that cleansing oil I feel like it's a really good one so now moving on to the June bag. The June bag has a little card that comes with it. It says Summer Starters. So here's what your little card's gonna look like. You are gonna get a little card attached that's gonna get you 50 extra Beauty Insider points when you take this into your local J no, J C Penney's, your local Sephora. And I found out it can be used in the local ones that have the J C Penney. So the ones that are inside of J C Penney's, you can use it there too. So that's perfect. So inside of this little pamphlet, though, it's gonna give you all the information about the products that come into your bag. So that way, there I can give you guys what they say about it and then next month I'll tell you guys how I feel about it so let's go ahead and pull open this little bag the bag is really really cute this month it's got these little bathing beauties on it super super cute it says in a summer state of mind and <laughs> that's how I feel absolutely my son just graduated from middle school and now he's going into high school my oldest son is in college and summer's out so now we're all enjoying it so it's awesome so the first thing inside of here is a perfume. This is Alien by Terry Mugler. I'm not even sure how to pronounce that name. Maybe you, one of you guys will know how to pronounce it and say it a lot better than I do because honestly, I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. So here's a little perfume. I've tried this before and I think it smells really, really good. It's not something I probably, no, I don't remember. You know what? I made a purchasing that. I don't remember. I can't say that for sure right now. So let's see what it says about the perfume and the little hand guide right here. It says a dark and daring romantic scent that combines notes of spiced chai tea with sweet floral. I love chai tea. Chai tea latte. Mmm, that sounds good. Uh, Terry Mugler is the designer be behind his anonymous, eponymous, I'm sure I just butchered that name too, or whatever that word is, fashion brand known for its strong angular designs. In 1992, the brand launched its cult favorite perfume, Angel, to be later by followed by Alien. So it says the notes in here are floral. Um, it's jasmine and sambiac. Cashmere and wood and ambergris. Ambergris. I'm sure I butchered that too. So I'm butchering all kinds of things today. I am the butcher today. <laughs> the next thing inside of here is something from Murad. I really do like the skincare line. So this is the Murad Invisiblur Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Treats, blurs, and protects. 71% saw, saw fewer lines and wrinkles. 94% saw improved smoothness and texture and 100% had invisible SPF protection, 30 protection. So that's pretty awesome. Let's see what it says on here about it. It says the Murad is a weightless primer, meets sunscreen, even texture, smooths fine lines and creates a perfect canvas for makeup. So hopefully this isn't like silicone based because I don't like silicone based type primer. So I'll have to try it out and find out whether or not it's a silicone based primer. If you've ever tried that primer before, let me know because I don't think I've tried it. So. The next thing inside of here is something from Briogeo. This is the Curl Charisma Rice Amino Plus Avocado Leave-In Defining Cream. Avocado. This is like the second thing I've tried recently that had avocado in it. So I love avocados to eat. I don't know about you guys. Avocado toast is delicious. So it's no sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. So that's pretty cool. So let's see what it says about this. It says, a moisturizing and frizz fighting styling cream packed with amino acids enhances shape and defines curls. So we'll have to try this out. It says master the sleek post beach braid with how to video. So there's a video on Sephora. It smells like the typical Briogeo type of products. If you've ever smelled anything from the Briogeo line, it smells just like those products. So it smells good. The next thing in here I see is something from Tarte. This is the Tarte Guard 20 Tinted Moisturizer. I have another one of these and I really do like this. I think it's an excellent product. It does have SPF 20 in it, so it's got a little bit of coverage if you want just that lightweight of coverage on your skin and then still have an SPF. This is perfect. So let's see what they say about it. It says Tinted Moisturizer with Broad Spectrum SPF 20 delivers lightweight coverage while hydrating with antioxidants. That's the other thing. I feel like this was a pretty hydrating product and for me with my dry skin, I need hydration, so I like this. So far, I'm really loving everything we're getting. The next thing is something from Kat Von D. So here's a Kat Von D lipstick. That's awesome. So this is a Kat Von D, what is this? A Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in K-Dub. That is a really unique color there. I may have to put some of that on. Kat Von D's lipsticks smell, like they have a very unique scent. It's almost like caramelly but it's just not quite there. It's not quite caramelly vanilla, so there's what it looks like. It's a very pretty color. That looks like a very pretty color for the summer, so I'll have to test that out and see how good it is. I love the scent of her, her lip products. 
And the last thing in my bag here is something from Bumble and Bumble. This is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Fine Hair Styler to, for fine to medium soft hair. So here's a little product from Bumble and Bumble. Um, it says innovative hair styling cream enhances natural texture and condition strands for a polished look without a blow dryer. So that is pretty awesome because in the summer, pretty much all year round, I don't like to use a blow dryer unless I absolutely have to. I like to kind of let my hair air dry. So this will be perfect for me, especially for the summer because I am definitely not going to be running a blow dryer. It's, it's like 92 degrees today, so I'm, that is not a blow dryer time. I let my hair air dry today, and this is the look I came out with. So pretty happy with air drying, so this will be awesome to test out for the summer. So anyway, that is everything that came inside the June bag and then the little review of the May bag that stained. The Kat Von D has stained my hand pretty badly, so awesome. That's what it will do for your lips, though, so you know that it's not going to rub off very easily. So that makes me happy. So I'd love to hear if you get the Sephora play, what your thoughts, your opinions are on your bag. Did you love everything you got? Did you find some things that you're like, man, I'm going to purchase that now? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.